Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fahler and I'm here with the astrological message of the week. I don't want to call it a forecast because it's more of a spiritual message for this week between the 17th of December to the 24th of December and it speaks to all signs and really all of us as humans. So, I called it with love, only love and how love can change your life and that's what we're going to talk about because, you know, as humans, we are often used to looking outside, turning our gaze outwards. And then, you know, some, at some point in our evolution as a species came all the hermetic sciences and teachings and taught us the law of reflection. As above, so below. As on earth, so in heaven. As inside, so outside, as in the minute, so in the great, in the macrocosm, as in the microcosm. And all of that to understand the wonder of the one. A lot of people don't know the second part of this verse. And we always talk about stars here. We always turn our gaze to the stars and we don't talk about a very important star, our star, Earth, our home. So I want to begin this message with talking about our home. Because we are in the peak of a cycle that has started in the beginning of 2011, when the world was swept by revolutions and uprisings that changed many, many countries and many, many places in many ways that are still trickling down today. Our civic consciousness has developed, has evolved. People from different nations connect through social media and through media as, as, at large, understanding that the similarities are bigger than the differences. That we are living on a round world with limited resources and that everybody and everything deserves to flourish on it. And that we don't have the option anymore to turn away our gaze and be silent towards evil because we are all connected. We are all affected by one another. And understand that if we think that we can make our voices heard once every four years when we put a little piece of paper uh, and elect somebody for government, we're wrong. And we should be reminded of the very nice quote by Edmund Bork that the only thing necessary for evil to win is that good men would do nothing. I'll change it to good humans do nothing. So we don't have that option no more. It is time for us to take responsibility. Depicted by the sun moving into Capricorn. Happy birthday, you Capricorns. And all over the northern globe, this has always been a time in which holidays have been celebrated to celebrate light and love and um, light and love and strength and giving in the worst time possible in the time in which the universe is frozen still being generous when there is no light around. Being full of love when there is no light around. Being the light when there is no light around. Oh. And this has always been traditionally, even before the big religions emerged, a time in which we celebrated the triumph of light over darkness. Just when winter becomes the darkest and the stormiest. 
So we don't have the option not to take the responsibility upon ourselves anymore. <clears throat> we are heading into a time that our actions, that our initiative would be turned to fixing whatever there is, to attaching themselves to the core subjects, like crude materials, like water, like resources, like nature, the simplest things, back to the basics. For some of us, this could be a time of incubation, this could be a time of being passive. But for others, there is an opportunity to take the initiative and to <clears throat> channel your actions and your initiative to work together with the masses, with millions of other people around the world who feel and think and believe the same things you do. To actually take part in turning this very big wheel we are all turning on, making sure it goes in the right direction. Mars enters Pisces. So passivity and working with the masses and connecting our action to the very basics. But the initiative has to be personal. Autonomy has to remain. And we learn how to put <coughs> responsibility and innovation into one, depicted by Saturn trining Uranus. So it's a time to think again, to see things from another perspective, to understand things better by getting a more holistic view. Mercury is going to retrograde, so we're going to think differently. We're going to calculate the way ahead differently. Yes, of course, there could be delays and complications because of it, because systems are not used to thinking differently. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. We can utilize it. And what we're dealing with is how places within our personal and public life still need to grow up, need to become more responsible, need to become more efficient, need to become wiser. How things that have not proved themselves need to go away and vanish. And that if we won't do that, the karma for it can be severe, could be quite disastrous signified by Mercury entering its retro retrograde in Capricorn, conjunct Pluto, Hades, the lord of the underworld. Next week, Mars is going to be on the south node and the sun is going to square Chiron. And that means the things that we've done, things we haven't fixed, things we haven't addressed, can bite us in our asses, excuse my French. So what I suggest is that we clean out our house today in a preemptive initiative to breathe some fresh air and take away the stench internally and externally and be strengthened by it. And how should we do all that, all that we spoke about today? with love, only with love. And that's how love can change your life in the next week. So I want to thank you for listening. And of course, I'm free for private consultations, classes in evolutionary astrology and lectures. And I'll be seeing you if you are in New York City, Florida, or Kansas City between January and February. Look it up and I'll be advertising my schedule. Thank you. This is Boaz Feiler. Goodbye.